Okay, here's the bullish engulfing pattern in action. Um, what we're looking at again is a market top, okay, or a peak, you know, here or here, something like this. This isn't a completed pattern, very close, but not quite. Um, but again, we've got the market moving up, we've got some resistance, and then we get our um, bearish engulfing pattern right here. So, um, and then price moves down. So look for, again, this is the pattern, the bearish engulfing in action. Look for um, overbought market conditions. Look for peaks. Look for resistance. And then when you find the pattern in, the, in these areas, it's generally going to be a very high probability situation. Here is price action moving up. Consistent higher closes for, this is a daily chart, so consistent higher closes for many days. And we got our first bearish engulfing pattern right here. It's these two candlesticks right here at a top and we get some nice accuracy again when we get the pattern um, kind of flattens out we're at a top we get an open down low here we get a close up high and then we get an open up high appearing that we're gonna have a nice up day and then price goes and closes below the previous days open and so there you have a bearish engulfing pattern once again you don't want to look for these at bottoms you want to look for them at tops if there was a bearish engulfing down here um, this is a series of uh, higher swing uh, lows we're looking at if we get a bearish engulfing down in these little lows right here not something we're necessarily interested in um, doesn't you know the market could be turning around but we're not trying to predict that we're just trying to follow price action so look for these at market tops again overbought conditions uh, etc